boxes is one and is second now. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hello, welcome back to Welcome Better TV. My name's Will. I'm Ollie. And I'm Tom. We're talking MLS. MLS, MLS. <laughs> so we'll go through all the fixtures and our predictions on every single game. We've done the research so you don't have to do it. Oh, that's nice of us. Oh, so nice. Pulling out all the stats, giving it to you, let you use it how you want. Subscribe, tell your friends, yeah. give us a little like, give us a little comment, tell us who you support. Yeah, that's important. Tell, tell us, us who you support. support. Tell us who you prefer out of the three of us. That would be quite funny. <laughs> that is funny, actually. <laughs> tell us what you think, Will's Barnet. Yeah. Soft. soft. Very soft. <laughs> Very soft and whiskey today. I need it. Very whiskey. You're a barber. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Holla. Need a trim. Yeah, you really do. Um, okay. Nice. So, basically, Look, once, we, once we went through all of these uh, predictions, we're going to pull out an accumulator. Oh, yeah, we are. What we that are going to bet on. A hacker. But that will be put into the WhatsApp group. So, you need to be on the WhatsApp group for that. Make Details sure that. are below there. And it's enhanced, so you will not get better odds on that specific yeah. hacker anywhere, anywhere else on the interweb. Um, cool. And a few little shout outs to people that commented on our last few MLS videos Charles Abdullah, big up. Big up, Abdullah. Um, Odira Arthur and Alf. 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 Great. Yes, Alf. Great username. Um, keep commenting, say funny stuff, and we'll do more shout outs. Yeah, cool. Okay, on to the games. Say funny stuff. Say funny stuff. Big it's game. Funny. Big, Big game, game to fun. start. Massive game. game to start. Saturday night, 9 p.m. UK time. UK time. So if you're not doing anything Saturday night, tune into this because this is going to be a great game. Yeah. So it's the two form teams of the, the MLS. Yeah. Seattle versus Kansas City. Uh, so it's sixth versus second in the Western Conference. Um, Seattle have been absolutely yeah. smashing right. it recently. One seven in a row. Seven in a row, and they're sixth. So they're yep. actually going. They honestly, they up the are league. absolutely flying. Uh, they're undefeated in ten and won eight of those. What's, Kansas. What happened to them? Um, I don't know. They're Something's just, happened there. They've got like magic powers yeah. in the last few weeks. <laughs> Kansas have won four in a row. Yeah. Um, and these two teams have the best defensive records oh. in the conference. Mm. Basically, don't put this in an ACA. It's right. going to be tight. I don't know which way to call it, but it's going to be a good game to watch. <laughs> so, my tip is under 2.5 yeah. goals. That could also I be would say absolute fireworks and be like three all as well. No, no, no it, it won't be. No, best defensive records. Neither, best neither defensive team records. can see many. I think that's, that's a pretty safe shout. And see, I could basically, under 2.5, a cheeky little draw wouldn't be the worst for both because they'll both make the playoffs, I think. Mm. Um, so my score prediction is one all, mm -hmm. mm. but oh, okay. absolute corker of a first yeah. game. Okay. On to Sunday morning. The next one's not that bad either. Okay. So Montreal versus New York Red Bulls. Okay. So sixth versus the new first place team yes. in Eastern. Went above Atlanta, didn't they? Yeah. Just frog leaped. Froggy, <laughs> Atlanta. Froggy makes sense. <laughs> um, who are one point behind them, but they've got a game in hand. Okay. So they will probably frog leap back. <laughs> All sorts. But for so now, much frog leaping in their top of the league. Conference. Montreal have only won one of the last six, so they're they're having a little dip in form. Whereas yeah. the other two form teams, yeah. Hit. Sixth in the league, but they're not doing that great. Okay, fine. Both teams to score in all of those six. Oh, okay. Uh, That's a banker. Red Bulls have only lost one of ten. Yeah. Uh, both teams to score has happened in half of those. Okay. Roya and Wright Phillips are the ones to watch. Yeah. They're the danger men. Score Roya's goals. got ten, Wright Phillips got sixteen. They didn't play goals. in the last game though. Neither. No. What, last night or yeah. a couple of nights ago? Yeah. Did they not? Did they they not? not? Well, they didn't start. They weren't playing. I was watching it eagerly, wasn't I? Really? Wow. They didn't start. Weird, right? They went to the bench. Started there. Maybe Just arrested. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. maybe they were arrested for this match. Yeah, yeah. maybe. They, well, at home, New York Rebels don't concede many goals. So those ones yeah. that are both teams to score, they'll be clean. So they're shots. away. Yeah, so, they're, so Montreal at home. Yeah. Both teams to score has happened in their last like six it. games. I think both teams to score is the shout. I think yeah. New York Rebels will, will win. Nick it. Nick it. But both teams to score is the shout. Great. I'm going 2 1 Rebels. Like nice. that a lot. Ollie. Right, next, New England Revs versus Portland Timbers. Revs versus the Tims. Um, <clears throat> so, normally you'd go, right, Portland, they're pretty decent, New England aren't that great, this is an easy shout. 
but both teams have been in pretty poor form recently. Mm, great. So New, um, New England are winless in eight games, losing six of them, including the last three on the bounce. Mm. Oh, not good, right? Uh, they've conceded eight in their last four games. Mm. Yeah, that is leaky. Um, and they've only won seven games all season. Yeah, they're not great, New England. No. But Portland are also in bad form. Yeah. Um, although they did win their last match at home mm. to Toronto 2-0. In the travels. Um, they're just, they're just not playing very well at the moment. Yeah, um, agreed. Four of the last five meetings have ended in a draw. Mm. So, so not playing too good. badly. No, no the last... these two teams. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ravens versus the team. Their games. Yeah, um, so they're not. Okay, fine. Okay, it's even likely to be a draw. Like, yeah. Um, man to watch, Teal Banbury. Oh. 28 year old New England forward who's scored 11 goals so far this season. Okay. Mm. Seeing they're at home. He could be on the score sheet. Okay. Um, but basically, I think, given both teams aren't playing very well, they both of them need, really need to get a result, but it's always difficult for the away team to get a result. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think New, New England will put up a fight. Yeah. What do you reckon the score prediction is? <laughs> <laughs> so so, so my, my tip oh. is draw. Yeah, yeah. draw sounds right. I think there'll probably be goals, so we we'll yep. also probably say over 2.5 goals. Score prediction? Desmond! Desmond! It's like Desmond of the weekend. Two. Two. Desmond. Uh, yeah. Like it. Big fan. <laughs> uh, okay, next. This game is value. The value. MLS value. Value, value game right, of okay. the weekend. We should have a little warning that comes up yeah. for the value. Value. Game. Value. So Orlando are bottom 11th in the Eastern Conference, yeah. Philadelphia 5th, and flying. Orlando have won one game in no. the last 16. Orlando are. Orlando are. That's free are money, no? Horrendous. Should be, yeah. Orlando are horrendous. Yeah. Okay, they've lost 14 of the last 16. Oh, they've no. had one draw and one win in that time. They've also conceded 59 goals, the most in the conference. So not only don't they win, they get absolutely yeah. pumped as well. Mm. Philadelphia have won four of their last five away games. Yeah. So they like traveling and have kept three clean oh. sheets in a row. This is the that big, the does big not money happen single. in the MLS. It's the big money single here. Um, only Atlanta have won more games on their travels yeah. than Philadelphia. So big my tip is big money single. Is Philadelphia win is 2.35. Yeah. I think that this weekend is the value yeah. shout. I reckon I that's a little two niller. Yeah. Simple. Cool. Get a few bags on that. Yeah. yeah Get some dollars on that. <laughs> Get the dollars uh, on that. Oh, that, that, I need to off the last time. Like, you know. like okay. it. So next up. Next one we've got Columbus versus New York City. City. Fourth versus third in the Eastern. Oh, tight. Very tight. Doink. Played in July and it was 2 0 to New York. Okay. Since then, New York played six, and it's just been up and down. Yeah, they're really hard. Two cool. wins, two draws, two losses. Oh, I hate one of those like that. Yo yo so team. Hard. Absolute yo yo. Columbus have played five and only lost one. So three. Yeah, they're in better form one. then. Um, and they've also only lost one of their last ten at home, which was to Atlanta, who were right at the top, flying second at the moment. So at home, Columbus are good. I don't think there's going to be many goals here. It's going to be tight between them. I. Under 2.5 is the shout. Okay. And it was between do I go draw or do I go Columbus to edge it? I've gone one all. One all. I think that's about right. Yeah, Wesmond. I've gone one Wesmond, all. one all. Just because New York won the last one 2 0, but at home, Columbus are really good. So I think all. that's about right. Yeah. I agree with that one. Right, next FC Dallas versus Houston. Ooh, I noticed. The negativity in my voice. Yeah, I have. Uh, it's really gone down a little. Dallas bit. was your team. No, they were never my team. I thought they were no, your team. No, but they've killed you. They've losing to San Jose twice. It's twice. twice. San Jose <laughs> have killed us. Top of the league versus bottom of the league, and they screwed me twice. Yeah. MLS is mental sometimes. Yeah. What are you playing like? They lost four yeah. three to San Jose in the last mm. game. San Jose, and that was revenge. That was their revenge game. Yeah. And then they lost three one at home to San Jose. And then the other time they screwed me over was the reverse fixture of this. Yes. When they went to Houston and drew one all. Mm. Yeah, we so to put win. to put in that into perspective, Houston are winless in nine games and have lost six of those. Mm. So they're not in good form. Terrible form. And then they go there and draw one all. Yeah, that killer. Um, that, so they're in a bit of 
a dip in form. Yeah, they've, they've only won one of their last five games. Dallas. Yeah. Lost Even though they're top of the league. Jose. They're only top of the league by one point. Yeah, now. it's getting tight out there now. Yeah. Cool. Getting tight. Um, uh, Houston have only won one away game all season. It's got to be a Dallas win. Yeah. Dallas have the second best home form in the league, winning eight from 13. It's got, got to be a to home be. win. Got to be a home win. It has to be <laughs> a Dallas home win. Got, I agree, it's got um, to be. If, if this isn't, you're not tipping on Dallas anymore. Dallas or Houston or San Jose. Because they're bogey team. Or it, might, it could be my bogey team, but yeah. go on Dallas win. Yeah. They, they should win this, I don't care if they've just lost to San Jose, that was away. Yeah. But they have to win this. Little score prediction for your boys. Score prediction is 2-0. Yeah. Okay, like it. Cool. Okay, then I've got Toronto versus Los Angeles FC. Mm -hmm. So this is ninth in the Eastern Conference versus third in the Western mm -hmm. Conference. Basically, Toronto are really hard to predict. So steer clear of this one. This one is not going in the ACA. Mm. Um, They've won two, lost two, drew two in the last six. Same yeah, as New York City. Breaks, didn't they? um, they've won five and lost five at home oh. as well. So I was looking at these stats going, I have no idea. Yeah. Like this Big could point. go anyway. Um, they've only kept two clean sheets at home all season. That's a little, um, yeah, a little bit better. Los Angeles have the most goals in the conference. They've scored 50. So Toronto have only kept two clean sheets. Yeah, there you go. Los Angeles banging goals. Both teams to score. Um, and Los Angeles have won five games on their travels, the joint most in the conference. So the safe tip is both teams to score yeah. based on that logic. My little cheeky tip, if you want to go for it, is Los Angeles to win either half. Yeah. It's 2.05. Toronto... <sighs> Don't know what team's going to turn yeah. up for Toronto. Could be anything. Los Angeles are in better form and probably the better team of the two. I've got them either half as my other show. Brad Barbley's team. Brad Barbley. Uh, score prediction, I reckon one all, but could be anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sounds right. Yeah? Both teams to score something. Both teams to score is a good shout on that one. Okay, so then we got another quite evenly matched one. So four versus Tough six this week in the West Real Salt Lake versus LA Galaxy. Your boys, boys. Your boys. LA Galaxy are on a bit of a blip. Yeah. Big blip, actually. Yeah. So yeah. Galaxy won the <laughs> reverse fixture 3 0. Yeah. Salt Lake are top of the league on home form. So they only lost one of 13. Don't win the league with that, though, mate. So home form <laughs> in this game going to come in handy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They've won nine of the last 12 at home. So they are decent. Battered Colorado 6-0 yes. in the last game. Yes. Um, lost one of their last seven, which was to Los Angeles, who were doing, well, mm. doing really well. Galaxy are winless in five. Zlatan's so lost his, What's Zlatan happened? Zlatan lost his power. Zlatan's been turning it on. Mm. Yeah, I keep seeing him pop up different yeah. commercials. So my tip, and the odds are good. That is good. Salt Lake win. Good, lucky I put that in there because you wouldn't have known that. Wouldn't have known that. Yeah, so I'd put that in there. <laughs> 2.15, 2 decent. So that's one for the Akka. I think Salt Lake will win that game. Nick it. School. 2 1. 2 1 -er. oh. um, Last one on Sunday night. Why would you keep giving me San Jose and Houston? Yeah, sorry, and I don't Dallas. know. Mate, it's all random. we we'll just do one each. Hey, I don't like San Jose. Go on then. But this right. is a team they're playing, should. Vancouver versus San Jose. I quite like Vancouver. I kind of yeah. wish they were my team. Yeah, I like them. Pick they Minnesota awesome. too early. So. <laughs> oh. um, so Vancouver in pretty good form. At yeah. The moment. They're unbeaten in their last five, winning three of them. Mm. Very good form. Uh, San Jose have lost eight of their last 13 away games mm. and have only won two. Don't be another one, San And Jose. guess who they were again? Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> one of them was against yeah. Dallas. Yeah, last game. Uh, they, like I mentioned earlier, they did beat Dallas in the last game 4-3. Thriller. But that was at home. Mm. So at home, they were a very different yeah. side to on the road. Away, yeah. Um, so I don't know. I think, although they're going to have confidence from their last game, I do think that Vancouver, I agree. his current form is just going to be They're looking good, Vancouver. They're scoring good, goals. Confident, yeah. on a bit of a run. Yeah. Um, I can't see past a Vancouver win. Yeah. And my score prediction is 3-1 to Vancouver. I like that. I think Vancouver wins a good shout, and I Definitely. think Salt Lake's a good win. Cheeky yeah. little double of those two. 
Yeah, uh, good, actually. yeah, and then Monday night we've got DC United versus Atlanta United. Mm. Uh, so this is eighth versus second in the Eastern Conference, but DC United have picked up. They were bottom for a while. Yeah, had games in hand. DC have lost two in a row and not scored in either game. Yeah, after they, they had started to, doing well, yeah, they did well, and then they buggered up, lost it, lost yeah. it, absolutely lost, lost it. Lost the mojo. Um, at home though, they've only lost two games all season, so they are not bad at home. However. Atlanta have the best away record in the MLS, both conferences, very good away from home. They've only lost two of their 12 away games, mm -hmm. winning eight of them. Atlanta good. are good away. Um, and isn't this the one that, this is the game in hand that puts them back top of the league? Exactly. Um, Martinez has got 26 goals in 26 games. And he is well. absolutely flying. Yeah, he's got 14 in his last nine and big. has scored in every single one of those big. games. So. Safe one, Martinez any time, yeah. the guy scores for fun. But I think this could be another value one. Atlanta to win, yeah. 2.1. I like that. Good. I reckon it's going to be quite close though. I'm a few in there, one, a few Atlanta. In. Atlanta. A few little value shouts. Yeah, there. Atlanta's like, a value shout. Atlanta, Philadelphia. Vancouver. Uh, Salt Lake. And Salt Lake. And Vancouver. Um, yeah. So, like they that. might be in the old MLS Yeah. But if you're not on the channel, the WhatsApp channel know. below, you, you won't, won't get the enhanced You'll odds. never know. But that is it for MLS. Let us yep. know in the comments if we've got any completely wrong. Yeah, and make sure your comments are funny. Yeah, we want some funny, funny, funny comments. Funny, funny, funny comments um, get our attention. We've also been asked by quite a few people to put oh, yeah. all of our selections into one long shot acker. Yeah. Obviously, we do not recommend this, but it's a bit of fun and it's worth like a cheeky dollar. Yeah. Cheeky dollar. Um, so we will do that and we'll put it in the in the comments or the... Like, like it. But that's not like going to be like our acca. That's just no. going to be like a bit of fun that if you want to put a quid on it, is easy. You can. Yeah. You can. But that's the, all the, the, big, the big bucks are in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Sweet. That's the MLS. Let's see how many of those we get right. We will see you on the next video. See you later. See ya. Looks at his watch and his second now.